Certificate signing request on FortiGate Firewall can be used for multiple purpose. For example, for the authentication of the FortiGate Firewall or the IPsec VPN or SSL VPN. So to generate the certificate signing request on the FortiGate Firewall, we will have to navigate to system and then click on certificates. Well, there are certain firewalls in the security industry which will only allow you to generate the certificate uh, from the firewall itself and you will have to get it signed from the internal or the external certificate authority and they will not uh, accept any certificate generated from outside the firewall environment. So I guess FortiGate uh, accepts all the certificate signing requests generated externally as well. But in this uh, tutorial, we'll see how to generate the certificate signing request or CSR on FortiGate Firewall. Click on generate CSR, name the certificate. And then if you have the domain name, you can judge you can feed in the domain name else uh, i'll go with the host ip so this is the interface ip on port 1 which i'll be using on on this particular interface i'll be using the 40 csr once it is signed to authenticate this firewall organization unit and fill in all the information Subject alternate name. And the private key to protect the password. Key to IP is RSA, which is the industry standard for most of the communication. And the key size is 2048 bit. Enrollment method is file based. We don't need the online SCP for now. Let's click on OK. This will generate the certificate. You can see the 40 gate CSR. And you will not see the status as valid yet. Because this is just a CSR, you will have to download this file. And then sign this using the internal or external certificate authority and the key. Well, if you would like to know about how to sign the CSR, you can refer to the older videos of mine and I'll share the link in the description or on the screen, you will see the option. Go through that video to understand the step. I'm downloading the certificate and I'll sign the certificate. I'll pause it for some time until I sign the certificate. So now we have the signed certificate with me. So I'll um, import that certificate here in the local certificate store. Click on certificate. And then click on the last option, import certificate, local certificate, upload. And let me select the certificate that I signed. So this is the certificate that I just signed using the CSR file that we downloaded. Click on create, certificate has been generated. Click okay, you will see the status changing here. 48 CSR subject, and then you will see the issuer name, which is my name, and you will see it as invalid. Let me try to import this root uh, CSR.
So now you can see that the status is showing as valid once I have imported the root CA cert. That's all in this video. Please uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.